If you've ever tried animating something in After Effects, you probably know how intense and overwhelming it can get. Between all the panels, layers, and keyframes, it feels like you need a full crash course before you can even animate a basic slide-in. And honestly, if you're not doing high-end visual effects or full-scale video editing, it's kind of overkill. That's where a tool like Jitter really changes the game. Jitter is a browser-based animation platform made specifically for beginners who want clean, professional-looking motion design without spending hours trying to figure out complicated tools. It's simple, fast, and surprisingly powerful. And the best part? You don't need to install anything. It works straight from your browser. Let me show you exactly how I use it. First, I head over to jitter.video from the discount link in the description and sign in with a free account. You're dropped right into your dashboard, where you can create a new project or explore the template library. Now, if you're like me and don't always want to start from scratch, templates are a lifesaver. I usually start by clicking the Templates tab on the right. Jitter has a growing collection of pre-built templates for things like social media posts, product animations, UI mockups, and even those trendy typography intros. These are not just generic placeholders. They're actually well-designed, modern, and usable straight out of the box. So let's say I'm working on a quick Instagram promo or a product teaser. I'll scroll through the templates, pick one that feels close to what I'm going for, and then duplicate it to start editing. That brings me into the editor, and here's where it gets fun. Editing in Jitter feels a lot like using a design tool like Figma or Canva. Everything is clickable right on the canvas. I just double-click any text I want to change, headline, subtext, buttons, and I can start typing instantly. No weird text boxes to hunt through, no hidden menus. If I want to change the font, color, size, or spacing, all of that is neatly available in the right-hand panel under the Design tab. It's responsive too, changes apply immediately, and it doesn't lag, which makes iterating really smooth. And of course, if you make any mistake, Control plus Z works like a charm. Positioning things is just as easy. I can drag elements around freely. Or, if I want precise alignment, I can use the XY positioning controls in the sidebar. There are smart guides that help with spacing, which is nice, and you can also group elements if you're working on a more complex layout. When it comes to backgrounds, Jitter gives you a few solid options. You can keep the existing background from the template or replace it with your own image or video. I've uploaded a few photos from Pexels. They work really well and help the animation feel more alive. If you don't have a background like me, you can either add one or to swap it out. Just select the background layer, click Replace Media, drop in your own file and adjust it accordingly. Done. Now for the real magic, Animation. Each element you add or edit can be animated individually. You click on the element, go to the Animate tab, and hit New Animation. This opens up a clean, timeline-style animation panel where you can pick effects like Fade In, Slide In, Scale, or Masking. These animations are pre-built but still customizable. You can adjust timing, delay, and even stack multiple animations for more complex results. Let's say I want my headline to slide in from the left and fade in at the same time. I just apply both, stagger the timeline a little, and preview the motion. The playback is real-time and smooth. I don't need to render anything or wait for a preview to load, it just works. And if something feels off, I can tweak the timing by dragging the animation bar on the timeline, trimming it down, or shifting when it starts. It's a small thing, but being able to fine-tune timing without frustration is what really sets this tool apart for me. Once everything looks right, it's time to export. With the free plan, you get 720p exports with a small watermark in the corner. It's not intrusive and for social media or internal use, it's totally fine. But if you're sending the animation to a client or using it in a paid ad, you might want to consider going pro. The studio plan starts at $19 a month and it gives you full HD and 4K exports, watermark removal, transparent backgrounds, and even the ability to collaborate with a team. For freelancers, marketers, or small design teams, it's actually a pretty reasonable price for the time you save.
Now personally, what I've really enjoyed is how lightweight and snappy Jitter feels. Even when I've got multiple elements animated, background video running, and fonts swapped out, it doesn't lag, it doesn't crash, and that alone makes it easier to stay focused and creative. So try out Jitter using the discount link in the description. And for another useful AI tutorial to be more productive, watch this video next.